Okay, this is for the tips for using uh, Shotcut. Uh, everything that you're about to see on my OBS recording is just me doing stuff and things. Okay, so the tutorial. Okay, so if you have problem on the outcome or the rendered video that you had, uh, try looking at your exports. Uh, sometimes it, this is not what you see. Uh, let me show you. Okay. So let's just uh, close this one. Okay. I already closed it. Okay. I'm opening another one. And here we go. So this is what you usually see when you try to export files. So its default is in good, but sometimes people want its pass, so they put it in the nearest pass, and also this pass, and some people press both of this, use par uh, preview scaling and parallel processing. So you don't use this if you don't have a high CPU and GPU. You don't use this because nobody uses scaling. <laughs> This is for 3D. I don't know why Shotcast is trying to be all around for some reason. So just take these two ticks if it's tick. I mean, it, if, if it's enabled, just disable it. Just don't press it. It must be live blank. And you have to put it in best. Both in best. I know it's slow when you're doing a 10 minute video, but it's better. Dot com. And sometimes you have to put this in 30 frames so it's the, the render is faster and sometimes put it in 24 frames because it's just a video. It's not really a CGI or some high quality video that you are doing sometimes. So that's all. Uh, for resolution and aspect ratio, it depends on you depending on your camera. But if you want the highest, you have to take a look at your recording device or the one you use for recording your uh, video. Sometimes they don't really have a spec for 720 to 1280. They only have... Uh, <coughs> they, sometimes they mostly have 1080 pixels. Uh, I'm using a 720 because the camera I'm using sometimes is only 720. It's a, it's a Samsung, uh, there's a Huawei, the one I'm recording right now is a Huawei. That's why I record faster, I can just send it to my Gmail and just delete it some, some other day. Uh, that's faster. So that's most of the problem that you will face when you're trying to export in Shotcut. Uh, if you have low quality, that means you either this, uh, put this in pass, don't do that. Both the interlace and interpolation is both bad if you just put it in pass. It's so blurry. I tried it last time. It's so bad. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. It's a step for a tutorial. I don't know, maybe how to I'm going to put. Okay, that's all. Thank you.